the first dish is, as we said, a beef dish. We're very sport, we've got a great farm locally that produces beef for us. We're cooking the beef in a modern way, it's been cooked in a water bath, which is wonderful, you get a really consistent cook and, and a beautiful uh, tender meat. The downside is you don't get any caramelisation, so we need to make sure that that piece of beef has that roasted flavour, and butter is by far and above the best way to give it that roasted flavour. Alongside the beef fillet, we've got some braised cheek, which has been braised very classically. Um, red wine, herbs, garlic, all the, all the normal things. And then finish with the roasted shallot um, and the smoked belly bacon. Most important on that plate, we've got smoked mashed potato. So the potatoes have been baked. Um, when they're cooked, they're scooped and passed. And then we're going to um, put a little bit of cream in there and then the smoked butter. The dish kind of came about because we wanted, we, we found this way of making smoked potatoes using really good quality butter that's been smoked for about eight hours and we wanted to build a dish around it. It's really important to use a quality butter. If you're not using a quality butter, because the butter's not been brown, it's not been flavoured apart from the smoke, you don't get that richness, you don't get that depth in it. So there we have a roasted fillet of Hampshire beef with smoked mashed potatoes, um, some braised cheek and some uh, garden vegetables. So the second dish we're doing today is um, um, a pan-fried piece of turbot. So for cooking the turbot dish, we have a beautiful scallop of turbot. We're going to very lightly flour and brown it in some uh, butter, very, very lightly brown it. Um, on that plate, we've got some uh, roasted garlic gnocchi. Again, they're going to be very lightly caramelised and a little bit of butter. We've got some uh, spinach from the garden, which is very lightly sautéed, with a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of seasoning. And then to finish the dish, we've got a classic beurre blanc sauce. So with a sauce like beurre blanc, it's, it's, um, it's a complex sauce and it's an emulsification, but it's also a very simple sauce in terms of flavour. You've got a reduction there, you've got a splash of cream, you've got butter. If you're using an inferior butter, the sauce is not going to deliver that flavour. There's nowhere to hide. It's uh, three elements put together. The, there's nothing you can do to hide that, that uh, lack of quality. So to plate the turbot dish, um, we've got a little pile of the wilted uh, spinach. On top of that, we've got a beautiful piece of uh, turbot. To the right, we've got some of the roasted uh, garlic and tarragon uh, gnocchi. And then we're finishing the dish with just a, a, a classic beurre blanc and a few chives. So there we have the uh, pan fried fillet turbot with um, wilted spinach, uh, roasted garlic and tarragon gnocchi, and classic beurre blanc sauce. So the, the third and final dish we're doing today is, um, is a crab lasagna but it's, um, it's a dish that shows um, a use of hollandaise in a slightly different way. In a hollandaise sauce, again, not dissimilar to the beurre blanc, um, there's nowhere to hide. You've got a couple of ingredients. You've got uh, the egg yolks uh, and the, uh, the um, flavouring that we add with the vinegar to balance it. But it's 90% butter. If you're going to use uh, another product, it's going to show through. You're not going to be able to deliver that flavour with an inferior butter. So we've, um, it's a gratin, so this dish is going to be served from the grill. We've got a small ear dish, and in the ear dish we're going to layer up the uh, fresh pasta that's been blanched, the spinach, which has been sautéed, and then the warmed white crab meat. Um, once we've made the layers, we're going to mix the remaining velouté with some of the hollandaise, pour it over the gratin, under the grill, so we've got a nice brown bubbly top. So there we have the, um, the lasagna of uh, Isle of White Crab with um, sautéed spinach, fresh pasta, and it's been gratinated with beautiful hollandaise sauce.